Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. I'm gonna show you the difference between these two rotor sprinkler heads from Rainbird. One's stainless steel, one's not, but they're both commercial. What gives? Stay tuned. Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. We've used Rainbird products for quite some time around our yardscape, and these are both the inlet size, three quarter inch. These are commercial rotors uh, with the rain curtain, a pretty good throw on these, but one is stainless steel and the other one's plastic. Well, why did they do this? And what's the difference? Well, they both function the same way, but the stainless steel is significantly more durable and will last longer. We had one of these fail after about five years. That's a pretty good run. I did a great job out there, but it gave up the ghost. We replaced it with this. So far, so good, and this looks a lot more durable. Now, at the time of filming, which this is a September 2024, you could go to the big box store. Ours happens to be the orange one. Uh, and you can see on the shelf that the stainless steel one goes for around $17, where the plastic version goes for about $13. Now, there's a couple things here that uh, you need to know about installing these and putting them to use. And if you understand these, these become really good workhorses for doing irrigation around your yardscape. First of all, they both have the same inlet. And in spite of different labeling, the canister that actually goes down in the ground, this piece right here is identical for both. Now that's really handy because we had one of these, the plastic one, that needed to be replaced. I was able to take this one out and put in the stainless steel back into it and just keep going without having to remove the canister. That's really handy. As far as adjustability, you can adjust both of them the same way. They both offer left edge where it starts, up to 360 degrees of swing on the sprinkler head, and as little as 40 degrees, and adjustment of the distance of throw of the sprinkler of the spray, the stream of water coming out. Both of them do feature the rain curtain technology, which allows the stream to decay as it projects, dropping water, not just way out the end of the spray, but along the arc as well. Both of them do very well. Now, as far as my choice, as I said, the price, for the stainless steel is about $17. Uh, these are about 13. For me, I'm gonna go to the stainless steel. I think it's a more durable unit. It's gonna last a lot longer. It's less uh, corrosion. Of course, plastic doesn't corrode, but it does get brittle. For my five bucks and for the, uh, the length of service it's gonna give, that's my choice. But they give you the choice, and we've had these plastic body ones for quite some time. There's many out in our yard that are serving us well. So I think either choice from Rainbird is gonna be a great one. Now, if you'd like to learn how to do all those adjustments, check out this video. We're gonna walk you right through how to adjust the swing, how to set it, the left edge start, and then how to take it all the way around and how to adjust uh, the throw of the spray. It's all relatively easy. You need a couple simple tools. We'll walk you through it on that. And while you're at it, check out this other video that YouTube thinks is perfect for your interest. And we'd like it if you watch it too. We think you're gonna enjoy it. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay, enjoying a great sprinkler unit.